Hola, good people. This is your man, DJ Wolf D, coming at you with another Akai NPC tutorial video. And with this video, we are going to cover two main things, the pitch shift function and the time stretch function. Of course, pitch shifting is being able to change the pitch while the tempo of the sample stays the same, all right? And time stretching is being able to change the tempo of the sample, but the pitch will stay the same. Uh, so this will be a very easy and quick tutorial here. Uh, I'm gonna drag my audio sample into the MPC software, double click it to open it up. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me trim off the excess that I had, have here at the end and trim off a little bit of excess at the beginning. All right, and then we will discard the excess, so all we are left with is the sample that we want. Okay, so let's start with pitch shift. Here on the software screen, you can see all these uh, options underneath slice. Discard, delete, silence, extract, normalize, reverse, fade in, fade out, pitch shift, time stretch, uh, gain, change, and copy. So you select pitch shift. This is very simple and self-explanatory. And all those functions that were down there, they're, they're here in the drop, uh, the drop down window also. Uh, you can switch it up if you wanted to. Um, very simple. The pitch values start at zero and they go down to negative 12 and up to positive 12, right? So uh, first thing I'll do is go back down to zero. I'll just type in zero, zero, zero. Uh, matter of fact, I'll just click cancel. Uh, first thing I want to do is play the actual original sample so you can hear what the original pitch is. And now I will select pitch shift and just jump right up to, let's say, 3. 3.00. Click do it. It's going to take a few seconds to process. And here is our new pitch. If I click undo, we go back to our original pitch. All right, let's stop that. And there you go, that's pitch shifting, all right? Let's move on. Time stretching. So, we're going to click time stretch and this screen will pop up. So, it already calculates the BPM of the sample for you. Uh, when, when the MPC Studio and Renaissance first came out in 2012, I don't know if it calculated the tempo for you with the older versions of the MPC software, but yeah, it calculates uh, the tempo of the sample for you right now. So, the original tempo, 50.8. So, now all I have to do is... Once again, put in the value of the new tempo that I want. So uh, is at 50.8 there. Let's take this up to 80 beats per minute. And click do it. Once again, it's going to process. And here's our new time stretch. Click undo so you can hear the original t uh, time once again. So now you see how simple time stretching is. That was it. That was all there is to it. All right, there's one more thing I'm going to show you. All right, so what if there's a scenario where you want to change both the pitch and the tempo of a sample? You want to change everything. Well, in that scenario... Uh, let's go back to the main screen here. I'm going to drag our sample to a pad. And now I'm going to hit program edit on the MPC hardware. All right. So here is our sample. And uh, all we have to do to change both the, uh, the pitch and the tempo is adjust the semi and fine knobs. So let me play the sample. And I'll start turning the semi knob. And 
the semi now goes all the way up to 36. So imagine how fast this would be. Yeah, ridiculous. So let's take this back down some. So semi, uh, semi uh, changes the pitch and the tempo in large steps. Fine, like fine tuning, changes it in smaller steps. So I'll play the sample and adjust the fine tune knob. And there you have it. That is how you change both the pitch and the tempo of a sample. All right, people, that's it. Told you, quick and simple. It's your man Wolf D signing out. Peace.